anything you put inside a furnace, which is, it's gonna be black, right? So why they give us this picture? It quashes a black man. So let's pull up this picture. Move, move in the side, my, my brother, move in the side. Let's pull up this picture. Then you tell me which one is true, which one is false. Remember, we just read about the hair. He don't have woolly hair. That man here have woolly hair, my white one. All right? He don't have weird, weird eyes. This man here have weird eyes, right? He don't have this. This man is not brown. This man here is brown, right? So now we got three strikes against the picture the white man been pushing to all our black community, to all our Africa, to all of the world. Right. So who been lying to us as a people? White people, don't be afraid to say that, sister. Right, right, right. Lena, do you believe in Christ? Do you? Pharaoh, let my people go. This is why you listen to this. Listen to this. Come through, come through, little sister. Come through, come on, we. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Hey, listen. God said we're not supposed to have, we're not supposed to have other God beside him, right? Come on. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. We're not supposed to make any graven image, right? When you're looking at your Catholic church, you're looking at your Christian church, are we not finding a lot of graven image there? Yes, they're worshiping for it, right? Like for example, I'll give you an example, sis. I'll give you an example, right? And here, and here, and here, sis. Let's talk, let's talk, sister. Let's talk. Since you already know you Israel, sister, give the young sister a chance. What is this image here? Who give us this image here? Oh, you will thank God, right? Right? In your church, that's how you, that's God, am I right? Now listen to the Bible, right? Yeah, yeah. I want you. You got the Bible in your, uh, uh, in your thing. Yeah, give that sister a Bible. I want her to follow along, so you don't think we're trying to add it up. Give that sister a Bible, please. She said that this is Christ. She said that this is Christ, right? So we're gonna give that sister a Bible. Sister, there you go, sister. All right. Yeah, yeah. One of the, your brother helped that sister. All right. We're gonna go. She said that this is this is Christ, right? So we're gonna prove that. These churches been lying to our young sister here. That she don't know better. But the order, the order, the order we are, we supposed to teach the young one, right? right. Read it, brother. Give me revelation. Here, come on, come on, brother. Soon I pull up the picture, you're supposed to know. Right? Come on, brother. All right? She said this is Christ. Today we're gonna find out if this is Christ or if this is the devil, the Bible speak of. All right? right. Come on. Revelation chapter one and verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. As white as snow. Hey, remember, remember, remember what he's referring to, sis. I want to read verse 1 to you. Read verse 1, right? Read verse 1 to him. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. What is the word revelation? It's about revelation means reveal. The revealing of Jesus Christ. All right, the Bible about to reveal what Jesus Christ looked like. Come on. Which God gave unto him uh -huh. to show unto his servants. Things which must surely come to pass. Things that surely come to pass. Right now we end up. Now let's go to 14 now. Verse 14. Now this is what Christ looked like, sister. His head and his hair were white like wool. Do my man here look like he got a woolly hair? Like your hair. Your hair is woolly. But do that white man look like he got a woolly hair? So that's strike one, right? Okay, come on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Come on. His eyes was red. You understand because he drank, he drank wine mildly, right? Listen to this. Do that man here look like he got red eyes? No. Come on. And his feet like unto fine bread. That's the key. His feet is like into a what? Fine breast. What color is breast? What color is white? Brass. Let me show. Brass. Brass. Brown. Brown. Like a penny color. Brown. Brown. Right? Come on. As if they burned in a furnace. Now you take the breast, you put it in a furnace. What color is going to be you? Anything you put inside a furnace, which is, it's going to be black, right? So why they give us this picture? It crosses a black man. So let's pull up this picture. Move, move in the side, my, my brother, move in the side. Let's pull up this picture. Then you tell me which one is true, which one is false. Remember, we just read about the hair. He don't have woolly hair. That man here have woolly hair, my white one. 
all right? He don't have weird, weird eyes. This man here have weird eyes, right? He don't have, this, this man is not brown. This man here is brown, right? So now we got three strikes against the picture the white man been pushing to all our black community, to all our Africa, to all out the world. Right. So who been lying to us as a people? White people, don't be afraid to say that, sister. White people been lying to us. You understand? That means white people, if you if you if you caught up in this lie, that means that the scripture said this. Let's get in a revelation for me. Revelation, when they say if you add. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Add, right? So that means that if the Bible does not say this, the white man is add. Am I right? Let's see what is the judgment when you add to the Bible. Revelation chapter 22, verse 18. Come on. For I testify to every man that hear the words of the prophecy of this book. Uh-huh. If any man shall add. If any man decide to add to the Bible. Because that's what the white man does. He add his picture to the Bible. When his picture is not supposed to be there. Right. Because we're supposed to have Christ's picture. Christ was a black man. Dark. Right. You understand? We're black. Come on. Add unto these things. God shall add unto him the plague that are written in this book. Plague is coming to this place. Right. Plague is coming for the white man. Right. Because he add, he add something that's not supposed to be there. So that judgment for the for the white man is plague. Plague because he add to the Bible. Sister, sister, before you go, I got to share something with you. You've been inside the churches, right? Do you know that you're not supposed to wear pain? Do you know that? So why you wear it? Because the world have more power than God. You think the world got more power than God? You got to change, man, in young city. That's why you ain't here. That's why God allowed you to pass through here. Because you may learn how to live in a godly life. You understand? That's not what not that's not why Christ died for. So we may stop sin. Am I right? But but now if Christ returns you in a mix of sin, what do you think gonna happen to you? You're gonna die, sister. You're gonna die. You understand? You're gonna die because you hate God's commandment. You understand? Not knowing that you're doing that. You understand? Because it's a tradition we follow it. But God said, if we would have found a woman wearing pants, Christ return find any woman wearing pants is death. Right. It's death. There's no repenting for that. Thanks. You want me to show you? Zephaniah 1 and 8. So you don't think that's my word. Because today either you're going to live here, love the Lord, or you're going to continue to hit the Lord. Then, then, then the end of hitting the Lord is the lake of fire. Right. Come on. Zephaniah this chapter 1 and verse 8. Freedom. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of God's judgment is going to come to pass. Come on. That I will punish the princes. God said you will punish. Come on. And the king's children. Come on. And shall such as are clothed with strange apparel. Such that's clothed with strange apparel. You got strange apparel on. Because a woman's supposed to wear what? You know it. Dress and skirt. Not short skirt like your girl. Like your girl with it. She have, you know what I mean? She have to change. She have to put skirt that can reach over here. Right. So nobody can see in the neat what she got on. Right now the thing she got on, she sit down, everybody see everything. Because she don't know better. She don't know better. No, but now our job is to show you, sister, you can do better. You understand? By the time you sit in the bus, they can see your whole thing, which is which is a sin. No, but you guys don't know better. You understand? Now I'm teaching you better. If if the Lord will find you, sister, young sister, with their pants and the short skirt you have, sister, there's judgment gonna go out for you. That's why you have to repent. You understand? That's why you're passing through it. You're surprising you're passing through it. You think it's a coincidence you stay where you stay, sis? Because God loves you, God wants you to change. God loves you because God wants you to change. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.